Welcome to the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. I'm Sarah Clement, Manager of Nutrition Education. And I'm Jenny Ryan, Nutrition Education Coordinator. The Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina is one of seven food banks in North Carolina. We serve 34 counties through six branches in Wilmington, New Bern, Greenville, Raleigh, Durham, and the Sand Hills. We have over 900 partners such as soup kitchens, shelters, food pantries that help distribute food to our community. Last year, we distributed over 90 million pounds of food, which is equivalent to over 76 million meals. Over 34 million pounds of that total is fresh produce. Food insecurity is defined as the state of being unable to access nutritious and adequate amounts of food necessary for our active and healthy lifestyle. Households being served by the food bank are food insecure and don't know where their next meal is coming from. In the state of North Carolina, there's over 1.5 million individuals living in food insecurity. And in our 34 county service area alone, we have over 750,000 individuals, a third of those being children. The food bank works to address hunger in multiple ways. One way is by sourcing food from the community, our retailers, our farmers, our wholesalers and packers, and our volunteers then take that bulk item, break it down into family-sized bags, and our community partners distribute to their clients. Last year, our volunteers donated over 200,000 volunteer hours, which more than doubles our staff. The Food Bank also focuses on finding solutions to build pathways for long-term food security. We focus on access to food that are healthy and to benefits, education, and engaging the community for our friends and neighbors facing hunger. Through our partnerships, we're able to empower individuals to make healthy choices. We know everybody has a different definition of healthy. It may be your, you have cultural or religious beliefs or preferences, food intolerances or allergies, or limited cooking equipment. That's why we find it really important to focus our nutrition education to meet the client's needs. Through our nutrition education programs, we're able to share recipes, healthy tips, and resources to our partner agencies and those that they serve. We go out into the community and do cooking demonstrations, tastings, and classes to help empower clients to utilize the food that we're able to source from our wonderful partners. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to do a cooking demo and the processes from start to finish so that you feel comfortable and confident in conducting your own. Let's get started. Once you've arrived and you're ready to get started for your cooking demo, you wanna first start by setting up your table. You can use any size table for a cooking demonstration. It really depends on what the space allows for and what you're comfortable with. The very first thing you wanna do is start by sanitizing the area. You can use a Clorox wipe, you can use a spray. It's really whatever is going to be able to get dirt and germs off of your space that could compromise the food safety of your cooking demonstration food. Now that your table is clean, you can either use the table as is or you can use a tablecloth. A paper or a plastic tablecloth would work well, as would a cloth tablecloth, whichever you would prefer to keep your space safe. Now we're ready to start setting up for our cooking demonstration. Because we're gonna be utilizing an induction burner today, we wanna make sure that we're in a safe distance from an outlet and that we brought a usable and reliable extension cord to provide electricity. Next, if you have long hair, you wanna make sure to have a scrunchie to tie your hair back. Now that we have our space clean, our equipment plugged in, our hair tied, we want to continue to think about food safety. We want to make sure that our clothes are clean and that we utilize an apron to create that barrier between any bacteria that we may be carrying with us. Don't forget to remove any wrist jewelry or rings that may come in contact with food. Now it's time to go wash our hands. Our table is almost ready to demo. As you can see, we have all of our utensils required to assemble the recipe from our measuring spoons, our stirring spoons, our cutting board, and our knife. And we have all of our ingredients forward facing the audience so they can easily identify what each item is. Today, we've pre-cut a lot of our vegetables, but you could always utilize them in their whole form or bring them pre-cooked depending on your time allotment. We wanna make sure to take our food out at the very last minute to ensure ultimate food safety and that time temperature control. 
Today we're displaying our food in glass bowls, but you could always use plastic bowls or the Tupperware that you transport your food items in. All right, as you can see, we're all set up and ready to demo. Today we're gonna make rainbow ramen. We've cut up all of our vegetables before our demo today because we didn't have that much time. If you go into the community and you have a longer length of time, feel free to bring the whole vegetable so you can cut it up in front of your clients. So then the clients can see what it looks like in whole form and then chop form. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a small amount of oil to the bottom of our pan. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our onions, our celery, our carrots, and our bell peppers. We're using yellow bell peppers today, but feel free to use whatever color you have. And we're gonna cook these down until they're nice and tender. While our vegetables are cooking, this is a great opportunity to engage with your clients. You can ask them questions like, what's your favorite vegetable? Or what other vegetables would you like to include at this at home? At home? Another one of my favorite questions, did you know that eating the rainbow every day is a great source of nutrients? You get different nutrients from all the different colors of the rainbow. The limit is endless of the questions you can use to engage with your audience. All right, these are looking really beautiful and nice and tender. So we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken in. So we're gonna use canned chicken today that we drained prior to the demo. If you had any leftover rotisserie chicken or leftover chicken from dinner, feel free to use it. If you want to make a vegetarian option, just leave the chicken out. All right, so we got that poured in there. Give it a little stir. Then we're going to add in some garlic powder and black pepper for seasoning. This is another great opportunity to engage your clients to figure out what their favorite seasonings are. All right, so we got those added. Give it one more little stir. And then we're going to add in our broth. Since we're using chicken today, we're going to use chicken broth. If you're making that vegetarian version, you could use veggie, or if you prefer beef. So we're gonna add in about three cups. All right, and then we're gonna stir it up, and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Again, this is another great opportunity while you wait for the stock to boil to engage with your audience. Because we're gonna be using ramen noodles today, we wanna to be very mindful of that salt content. And what better way to identify how much salt is in our foods than reading the food label? Typically when educating on how to read a food label, we always start with the serving size and servings per container. And then we move to what may be the main point of our lesson today, which would be sodium. We talk about what one serving is and what two servings would be and how the sodium content of this entire packet is more than our total day's worth of salt needs. Our broth has come to a boil. We're now ready to add our ramen noodles. We broke our ramen noodles up in the packaging prior to the demo today. It's gonna to make it a lot easier for you to ladle it into tasting cups and your clients to eat it. So we're just adding the noodles in. We're also gonna add in our spinach. You can use kale or another leafy green. And you're gonna, we're gonna add this in at the very end because we want it just to wilt. Now, Sarah's gonna add in the ramen noodle flavoring pack. We talked about this with our label reading activity that this has a lot of salt in it. Because we use the garlic powder and the pepper to do a majority of the seasoning, we just need a little bit to get that ramen noodle flavor. this for about three minutes or until the noodles are tender and then we're ready to taste. Now you're ready for the tasting component of your cooking demonstration. Remember to give enough to taste all components of the dish that you created. Have your recipes available in English and any other language primarily spoken by the audience and make sure to have utensils, napkins, and anything else needed available for clients to grab on their way through. Try to make it visually appealing. We like to bring extra ingredients to bundle together so clients can have that additional cue of all the different components in the dish today. During the tasting is a great opportunity to give one brief nutrition education tip to the client as they pass through. 
Some clients may not have been able to listen to an entire cooking demonstration, or it can be a great way to reinforce lessons that you talked about earlier. However you choose to do it is great, and this is a great way to conclude your cooking demonstration. We learned a lot today, from being organized with your demo from start to finish, to anticipating some obstacles, and above all, being flexible. Obstacles may come up, Things may take longer to cook, something may fumble, and that's okay. It's a great opportunity to have conversations with your clients and brainstorm together of ways to overcome these obstacles so they don't happen at home. Food is an amazing thing that can bring people together. We hope you've enjoyed our Rainbow Ramen recipe today. It is one of the favorites in our community. If you have any questions or would like more information about the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina, please visit our website at foodbankcenc.org or find us on social media. Have a great day.